decided that we are going to start doing something called Tiff and Chris's Two Takeaways after we leave every venue that we are camping at. And we're going to tell two favorite things that we liked and two things we didn't like about either the campground or the city that we were in. And we just now left the French Quarter. We camped there for the past three days and um, at the French Quarter RV Resort and it's literally the only one in the French Quarter and it's just a couple blocks off of the French Quarter so within walking distance and so we're gonna talk about that I'm gonna give my two and then that guy right here he's the Chris and different Chris's do America <laughs> he's gonna tell you what he doesn't like okay so I'll start should I start with my dislike or like let's do the dislikes. speed check reported ahead okay so my dislikes were the smells it was unbelievable and the thing about our trip we had perfect weather it was like California weather it was about 75 degrees it wasn't humid at all we never really broke a sweat did we no it was gorgeous weather and and so we had really nice weather it was cool breezes and actually at night we we got a little chilly I would I wish I would have had a jacket both nights and so I can't imagine what that place smells like <laughs> in the heat of the summer. Yeah, it, vomit. There was a lot of vomit smell. It smelled like vomit, and but then it was only around Bourbon Street. And then Street. Lysol. But it was only around Bourbon Street, but that's because there's a lot of drunks throwing. Yeah, up. there were a lot of drunks. I mean, we didn't actually see any of that happening. We just we did see some a lot of people falling down and and stepping on my toes mostly and spilling drinks on mostly me, not him didn't happen once to him but it happened to me over and over and so that's my number one thing that I didn't like and even in the morning we had one morning where our electricity was off at the RV resort they were doing some kind of an upgrade on the grid down in New Orleans and so they gave us notice only a couple hours notice <laughs> that we weren't going to have electricity and so I, I just got up yesterday morning and opened up all of the windows in our, our camper and First of all, there was a, some guy smoking a cigar at 7.30 in the morning, and I, I just, who does that? And so that was bad, and then the other thing was just the smell, and we were a couple, we were about a half, what, what do you think, a mile off? No, probably about half a mile. Half a mile as the crow quarter. flies, and so yeah, the smells, you could definitely smell, and it wasn't even hot. So that's my number one dislike. My number two dislike was, I wasn't aware that there was such a homeless problem down there and not only is it disturbing because a lot of it is fueled by uh, addiction and so there was some really scary behavior of some of these people especially last night we saw one, one guy <clears throat> was just taking his duffel bag and it was almost like he was beating someone up and he was beating his duffel bag against the wall of this or the door of this store down on Jackson Square and it was really scary and then he started just running and I'm thinking that's how people get hurt especially him um, but there was a big homeless problem and our RV resort was really secure it had a big brick wall around it right under the interstate and on the other side of the wall under the bridge was just a big homeless encampment like tents and mopeds and uh, just a lot of stuff and then on the other side of our view resort on the other side of that brick wall which was the wall of safety was the st. Louis cemetery number one so we had like graves <laughs> homeless people <laughs> but I mean ours it was really safe I really loved the resort I thought it was even better than I thought it would be so those are my two um, and I you know the trash in the streets that just kind of goes to the smells and also the homelessness they're just there's so much trash and and filth I don't know how you ever clean it up I think that's probably why God sends hurricanes is just to clear out all the garbage okay so Chris is gonna tell you his well you hit top. upon mine too already okay the trash was one the trash on the streets there's a lot of trash on the streets when you're walking around but uh, they said there's street cleaners that come out but we didn't see any no, we didn't. Uh, but it was pretty filthy, the streets. But, you know, everyone was down there to party. And, yeah. You know, they're well, throwing I mean, their drink cups all over the place. And there's not yeah. really any trash Nobody is to, careful. 
I mean, that's that's a, that's a lot of the tourist fault. Is it? It's not. You know, it's not their fault that people come in to fall down drunk and they call them vomit zombies. Yeah, vomit. Which it goes to the smell. <laughs> yeah, that, those are really the only downs of New Orleans that, that I thought of too. She hit a bottom. But uh, going on to the two positives, I thought it was really cool that uh, we were able to take an airboat excursion not too far from uh, the French Quarter and we were able to see some gators. A lot of them. There's a gator in the bushes. There's probably four. He's calling. We probably saw 40 gators. And one of the reasons that we did, did, I didn't know this until we started doing research for this trip, that I wasn't aware, I know they're cold-blooded, but I didn't realize that that they hibernate and so really their their activity is based on how warm it is and right now it's getting warm it's still a little bit chilly but it's mating season so they're really active and out and so we saw on our tour alone I we probably saw 40 and then we went to lunch at this place right afterwards it was down by the harbor and there were just gators everywhere down there you know sunning themselves on the grass and it was cool actually it was pretty cool but you can get pretty close to them not close to where they can chase you or bite you yeah but uh you know i i hung my 360 camera out pretty close to them with the extended wand and uh, one chomped i got yeah one, one tried <laughs> one to chomp one. at the camera <laughs> but it was pretty cool yeah i would do that excursion again i would too I would and so that it. that goes that piggybacks onto my number one is that i i didn't think that the swamp in in the marshland and all that was pretty i mean nothing i've ever seen made me ever want to go to it and basically my point of reference is Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> and so they kind of show the scary stuff, but I was not prepared at all for how pretty it was. And we did have beautiful weather. We wore, wore jackets and sweatshirts. And so we had perfect weather and we saw a lot of stuff and it, it was just really, really pretty. I was, I thought it was a lot prettier than what I had expected. What'd you think? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's cool. I was hoping to see some snakes. She doesn't like snakes, but no, uh, I've had one fall in a boat, which is what they said they do. And they, in the swamp alone, they said that there were ten or twenty. Twenty. Twenty venomous types of snakes. Yeah, twenty twenty breeds of venomous snake just in the swamp, not in New Orleans or um, Louisiana, but venomous like that means they can kill you. <laughs> and he said three to four times a year that they will have a snake fall into a boat and you know hit a tourist with a no rope <laughs> okay so what's your other one uh, I'd have to say the food the food was amazing we we got to partake in quite a variety of oysters and, uh, and yeah. <laughs> how they prepared them the food was uh, you know a lot of people go down there just for the the food and I yeah. can understand why oh it was you. really good yeah yeah kind of have the same that's the same with me the food I've never really had Cajun food before Creole and it was delicious like every everything I had and I tried everything like I would I would we did eat a lot of oysters like they're out of oysters so we're heading down the road today oh by the way it's soft shell crab season and if you've not had soft shell crab yeah that was my first time having oh uh, you gotta try it they're only in season between I think uh, March and September so we're hitting it and anytime yeah. I see it on the menu I'm ordering it it's amazing yeah it was fried yeah I don't know if you prepared any other way is that the only way you uh, that's usually it? just fried yeah. yeah I loved it yeah that was good I had never had that before um, and and everything was like all the drinks were good one thing like you don't sometimes when you go to Vegas or some other places you don't get your money's worth when you get drinks and you know you want to get a legitimate buzz especially in a place like the French Quarter you get your money's worth <laughs> <laughs> on these drinks. Oh yeah. And they're strong. They're giant, giant glasses. Strong too. I yeah. mean they every everything we drank and and we drank a few, you got your money's worth. They I think didn't we skip went, on the on we the had alcohol. Maybe six margaritas last night a piece. That yeah, was quite so a number we of did, margaritas. We did an accidental pub crawl yesterday <laughs> going out for beignets. <laughs> and so that that was those are my two do we were gonna add one and sometimes we'll add one if we have just a lot more things that we want to say and there was just a lot to say it was just it well, was we took fun. a tour tell them about the tour we took a tour and learned a little bit about new orleans history. history and we took a ghost tour last night both of them were mule drawn and 
And did and, you know that vampires originated in New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. In, in the, um, what was it? The, uh, the Ursuline uh, Monastery. The, yeah, uh, where the nuns were. That's an interesting story, so we won't go into all that. But yeah, so basically every creepy thing that happens in New Orleans is because of the Catholics. <laughs> the Catholics. <laughs> I, was, I was raised Catholic, so I can understand that. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, every, every story we, about voodoo or... It was all the the word Catholic came up in every single one of those stories. <laughs> so there's a common denominator there, I think. But um, yeah, but that all was in fun. All, all in all, worth the trip. Yeah, I, I we'll, we will go back. And I just found out last night that there's a harmonica festival every <laughs> oh, April. It's coming up, and we're gonna miss it. And so next year, I'm gonna I'm gonna practice, and I'm gonna be participating in that. How many times have you played the harmonica since I've known you? None, but that's because you're holding me back from my dreams. <laughs> I'm holding you back. So my career in harmonica will begin on this trip because we actually have the harmonica in this camper. <laughs> it was my harmonica. I know, but now it's mine because it's gonna. It's my career. <laughs> I didn't even know that I wanted a career in harmonica until yesterday. Well, it'll be interesting to watch you launch it. Yeah. You'll you'll get to be with me from from the ground floor <laughs> up because <laughs> it can only go up. Yeah, so now we are on our way to Gulf Shores Luxury. We refuse to stay in any RV park that doesn't have the word luxury in it. <laughs> <laughs> just stay away from the ones that say boutique. Boutique. Avoid those. Yeah, we just left the French Quarter Luxury Resort, and now we're going to the Gulf Shores Luxury Resort, which is about three hours from Louisiana. We're going through Biloxi, and and we're going to end up there, set up, and then we're going to um, get some groceries because we were drinking too much and eating too much to get groceries in New Orleans. And we're going to get to do some deep sea fishing. On Sunday. But today, there. we're just setting up and we're going to go to Floribama tonight to eat and listen to some music. More music. And then we're going to actually get some work done tomorrow and in the RV and hopefully have a beach day. But there's a lot of rain in the forecast. So anyway, that's kind of the, our takeaways for this portion of our three-week Great American Road Trip with Tiff and Chris doing America. Go New Orleans. Who dat? Who dat?